Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick Show. And it's our podcast special on Podbean. I hope you're all well and having a great day. It's the 29th of September as we launch this podcast. And we've got Rue here as my special guest. As always, Rue, how are you doing? Still alive. <laughs> Still alive. He's alive. Good He's alive good. and well. Still alive. Hold on, where's that? Where's that? The, the sounds we've discovered. Let's get one. Uh... Is that the sound of the quack? Still <laughs> <See> that one. <laughs> this time, we're actually recording this on Discord and not on StreamYard. Um, because we've seen now that our podcast is growing a lot, actually. So we're very, uh, very much appreciate everyone who's been listening, especially from the States. We've had lots of people from the States um, and from the UK. We've even had people from China and South Africa and pretty much all over the globe. So it's great to have you all on the show. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, feel free to leave a comment or a like. It's always good to hear from you and we will do our best to reply to them. Um, the last person that commented was actually rude. So it would be nice to have somebody who wasn't on the show if someone actually listening to make a comment that would be great so we can try and increase our stats um do you, do you remember when we when we did it live and we used to do it live on on podbean, on podbean yeah you used to get people actually in a chat yes from, we might have to do that again from all over the place so that yeah. was that was kind of weird i'd like to try and make this regular as regular oh. as we can because um, I think it's quite good, even just a quick kind of ch um, snap of what's been going on in Formula One. And that's why I thought um, we would start off with Ricardo's exit. Now, yes, it was last week. That was his last race. But I kind of thought, are they overblowing his uh, kind of exit of F1? Because he's not really done massively well over the last couple of years. And I know he's a very likable chap. Um, but I thought they must be looking for things to fill the, the news with um, because they're they're putting out videos on F1 all about Ricardo and interviews and all yeah, of that. They made definitely. a big deal of it yesterday. What do you think, Rue? Do you think, did, did you ever hear that one that, um, oh, not Jules Villeneuve, but uh, Jack Villeneuve did when he was interviewed on Sky um, about what he thought of Ricardo? No. Oh, no, was, what did he say? He had to almost oh, it's cut him be off. Brutal. Oh, it was brutal. I was going to try and get that recording, and actually I might even try and fit this in if I can. Um, because it was he, was he was saying he was terrible. He was basically saying he's, he's well past his sell-by date, he hasn't done anything, and he's full of excuses. So he was going to get fired. And that was back at Canada. He was, he was one of the top five yeah. drivers. He's, you know, he was... He was he, he was, was very making good at Red Bull. Like, Hulkenberg looked slow. Yeah. He was he was he was keeping Verstappen honest when when they were in yeah. Red Bull together. He completely trounced um, Vettel, who I don't rate that highly anyway. I'm sure he's he's good. I mean, through the four times world champions got all these um, all, all these records, but yeah, but he was in the best car in the same team that was built around him. Yeah. And then R Ricardo came in. Yeah. And completely humiliated him by being so much better and then suddenly you go to McLaren and it's like he can't drive anymore yeah it, it was it was like a midfield because they had a few comings together suddenly. didn't they they had a few coming together like with with um uh with Verstappen Verstappen and Ricardo didn't they they had a big accident at Baku when they, they went into each other at the first corner and then and I think oh, yeah. I think Ricardo thought that he couldn't um, maybe get the best or get the most attention that he, that he thought he needed to win the, the title um, by being in that team. But really, as soon as he left that team, that was the worst move he could have made. Well, he didn't. He, just... he needed a competitive car. If he'd been in maybe a, a Mercedes or a, yeah, you know, something like that, or a race-winning car, he might have been able to make yeah make it, a... make a difference. But he went. He was promised everything in Renault, but as we know, Renault yeah. are. Just, it was very just, variable. Very, very. It's, yeah, you got to be careful. Ah, that, that's just no commitment. That, 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 that they're worse than Honda for changing their mind and not wanting to do things. But they've got no commitment whatsoever to the F1 team. They say they are, but they, they, their budget is. They won't put the money in, and yeah. they keep changing the bosses and all this kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah it, it, uh, it was promised a load of stuff, and of course he, he left there because he could yeah. see none of it was happening. Then but he went in, to McLaren, in, didn't they? It was McLaren. Then it was to McLaren, and then um, it wasn't well just that Lando was really good. Yeah. No, he, 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 as soon as he went in there, he was he was not good. You know, he wasn't a good driver. Yeah. I mean, in the context of Formula One, all right, and in the context of where he'd come from and how he, he was racing before, and he's always been a fantastic racer, very entertaining to watch, someone that dives down the, the inside yeah. of people, just overtaking manoeuvres that 
are great to see that other people, not that many other people do. Yeah. You know, it, it was um, he was great for that, but and he still had that. And like I say, he's a likable bloke. Is is I I was a big fan of his. You know. Yeah. Big fan. Yeah. I, cause... I, I think the thing. I think you're right. A lot of these people are a lot of these. Um, what are the you know video the F1 YouTubers yeah. and, and the F1 the F1 reporters, shall we say? Yeah. I'm in a big deal of it because it's come at the day, isn't it? <laughs> but um, I think one one comment that was made is that it wasn't so much that it was a surprise that he got let go because we were waiting for it because yeah. he hasn't. Yeah. This was his last ditch attempt to try and be Verstappen's teammate again mm. in the main team. Yeah. It was the fact that they've ditched him a few races from the end of the season. Yeah, and I, I kind of thought, well, he's given the chance to finish the season, but they're obviously... Yeah. I didn't think he was that bad. Um, and I think other teams... He may have done better in other teams, to be fair. Um, I never felt he really got the right run. I think ever since leaving Red Bull, it's, it's, it's gone downhill. A bit like Alessi. When Alessi left Ferrari, um, it kind of it just started getting better as he left because Schumacher joined. Um, and the car the car got a lot better. But he did go to Benetton and have a reasonable time there. That's when he got his win in Canada, I think it was. Or was it in the Ferrari? No, it was, was it? Was it the, he was 95 in the, in the Ferrari, I think, wasn't it? I think it was. 90, yeah, yeah, 95 was in, was Ferrari, in the Ferrari and he won that in Canada. With Berger. That's with, right. with Berger, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it was 96 that he went to Benetton. Um, when he was... Was after that, any, any wins he got after that, Lacey, it was, it was more luck. Yeah, we didn't you know, get the, anything. The, the circuit, I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying that he only won because he had no skill. I mean, that with the car he had, yeah. you have to have the right situation where... Yeah. Well, in, in 95, um, he was leading and in, and in, had more chances to win races. Yeah, so and his was car, his car was a Monaco down. Grand Prix where there was only five cars left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it was incredible. But um, but yeah, so no, it, it's it, it's been quite a thing. In fact, last night I was actually watching a clip. Um, it was it was of of uh, Murray Walker's last ever commentary. Oh, oh are you there? There you are. It's freezing a little bit. Hang on, we will we will try and hope that the uh, Rue comes back to us. Let yeah, me just... um, it all went funny. You freezing and it's on. I don't know what's going. Oh, uh, right, we've got it sorted out. We've gone back to Streamyard. And uh, and using OBS as well to get it all sorted out, so I can reintroduce Rue, who is back here and firing on all cylinders. You okay, Rue? Yeah, I'm I'm a V12 and I'm running on at least nine of them. <laughs> well, that's about as reliable as my old Fiat Strada. So there you go. <laughs> no, that was from a very long time ago. It's interesting because the last Fiat I owned, we owned, was in 2000 and two uh -huh. and it was a fiat tempera oh they were brilliant i loved them no they were oh they were diesel oh, they were and good. the engine was good. actually fell out of the car while my wife at the time was driving along in it my goodness that is a spectacular oh, yeah. fiat breakdown. was the one of the worst <laughs> cars there's the only one car i owned was oh no there's all the montegos as well did they, did they drop out did the engines drop out of them we no, the uh, head gasket exploded on the A483 coming <laughs> off of the A483 uh, by Chester. I was on my way down to Cambridge to do some work with my with my industrial sponsors for my PhD. And I turned off the dual carriageway. If anyone knows it, you go up to the, sorry, the A55 and it go round, goes around the bottom of um, Chester. And then you've got the A483, which goes down past Wrexham and this kind of stuff. And you turn off and I'm going up the slip road and it goes... Smoke, many yeah. smokes. This is with the this is the old Perkins Prima Two yeah. Turbo Diesel. Great engine, though. Great engine. It was a great engine until it wasn't. Yeah, need to and do then, heavy uh, maintenance. They need it, what maintenance. There's traffic lights at the top, and it's a big heavy car. And I'm on my own, and I found out just how self-centered, miserable bastards the whole of British <laughs> drivers are. No one helps because you. I'm at these traffic lights on this massive roundabout, an incredibly busy junction, ha trying to push this bloody thing across round the roundabout uh, on an incline. It's a good mm. job I was younger then. That would probably kill me now. <laughs> um, well, with my heart the way it is, it probably would actually kill me. And then down to this garage and ring up and get, get recovered. But that was... Oh, it's doing it again. Look at it. It's just your camera. But your, your sound is fine. Now, yeah, we got... Probably... So we got off... off from Ricardo to the A40 and <laughs> near Chester. 
which is a good a fifty five. A fifty five. That's a pretty. That's a pretty yeah, decent staff, isn't it? Yeah. Now we also. I'm, I'm going to quickly say. Hopefully, this podcast will be out tonight. Uh, that's Sunday, the 29th. Uh, we are having a lobby night at eight o'clock. So if you are uh, listening to this and you did want to join us, you'd be very welcome. It's going to be on uh, the, uh, Gran Turismo 7. And just look for me. It's Crichton Starbug. I'll try and... Or Crichton Starbug, the old Red Dwarf um, character there. Um, but it will be on YouTube. It's going to be streamed out live gets the on joke. YouTube. The joke I do, talking about um, our mate Steve. Uh -huh. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, if, you know, when, when I say you gave him holovirus... All right, yeah, <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, a few, they're too young to, to remember uh, Red Dwarf. That's why. That's why there's a problem with that one. Uh, but there no, you we had, go. We had, a, we had, a really, I, I had a really good interview with Steve. Really enjoyed that. Um, and I'm hoping that we're going to get some more. We've got, I've, I've got a few others lined up in the next wee while, especially now that I've done Steve again. I'm hoping that that will give me a good intro into uh, Tidgeney and the others. And speaking of Tidgeney, he's just gone to 100,000 subs. We were watching it yesterday, um, which is great because his channel has must have doubled in size in the last maybe eight or nine months. So good on him. Uh, many congratulations to Tidgeney. We'll hopefully try and put a picture of him on the front of the thumbnail so people can see just how well he's done. And if you're not already subscribed to Tidgeney's uh, channel on YouTube, we strongly recommend it. So we've done the F1. We've done our lobby nights. We've done, uh, well, actually, we haven't done Gran Turismo <coughs> this week. Have we, Rue? Um, this was a very different week, wasn't it? Because we had the Group 2 at Autopolis. We had Group 3 at Bathurst. And then we had Group 4 at Brands Hatch, the, the proper Grand Prix track. Uh, yeah. I had two horrendous races on Friday at Bathurst, where I was being pushed off and ended up um, crashing out. Uh, the only ever time I've ever rage quit was on, on Friday. I was fed up. So I'm now down to a B rank driver again. So I've lost my A rating. I'm down to B, but I was verging on that <laughs> quite a while. Um, so we'll, oh, we'll geez, try it tomorrow morning when the new races come out to see what they're doing. But I'd love to know what our listeners think of the current races as well in, in GT7, because I do know that most of our listeners um, are listening because we talk about GT7 and Formula 1. Um, so it would be great to hear your comments. But at least it was different because this week we did have Group 2 as a race A, and that was quite actually that was actually quite a decent format. I maybe should have done more of that because I probably would have done it. Did a they have like racing tires or is it? Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Ra I think they're on racing softs even. Yeah, um, you know what they're like. Yeah. They'll, they'll have it. They'll have a Group One Le Mans racer and they'll have it on comfort hards. Yeah, I know it's it's so. Well, let's mix it up again. <laughs> are, they, are they Italian? Polyphony. Uh, I know. I think they're American. You know, American or mid Japanese. Is that is that the guy that wrote it? Is Japanese? But. Uh, I'm sure we, our listeners will, will put us right on that. Um, They're all Egypts. But, uh, but aye, so it's quite, it's quite a thing. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I think they will bring in more races that will be just a bit more fun, a bit more creative. And that's what we're trying to do with our lobby nights is to take the most extreme cars. Like last week, we had the Renault 4 at Goodwood, which was quite fun. Um, but we're going to have like the Volvo 240s, lots of other kind of low-powered cars. Maybe even have the Fiat 500. And take it to a really kind of annoying small I love it when you say we. Well, you and I, Rue. Well, you, yeah, but... You did it last week well, with me. Yeah, but the we want. The one who wants it is you, you mad bugger. <laughs> but, Ooh, uh, we, had our, we, had well. we had our most successful Rue, stream. We're going to be in Renault 4s on this track and it's going <laughs> to take five years to get round Goodwood. Ah, but we and did have a going... good battle. We did actually have a good battle, you and me. In there, as as Ian and everyone else drove off into the distance. I was how quick I was, actually. Yeah. I, was, I was a gobsmacked how quick I was. Yeah, well, you quick. see. What the hell's going on? And we had 280 views in just 90 minutes uh, by the time it was done, which is pretty... That was our yeah, best was, ever GT7 kind of stream so and such. Um, so, yeah, so we're very thankful to people who watched... And uh, and who and who commented and listened on that one because that was that was quite fun. So we thought because it's been successful, we'll try and do it again. Uh, this time, try and get more people involved and do more funny combinations. So we're always looking for mm. great combinations, and we'll see. But we did Group Three at uh, at Goodwood. That was great fun, actually. Group Three at Goodwood was kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> but it was it was a laugh. And then we did we did even Group One. We did Group One at Goodwood as well. And that was well, really what fun. happened is that somebody didn't set it up right. So they were going, no, 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 you're not allowed to have any tuning. And then I noticed that I could 
you were running Group 3 cars or whatever it was, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can get away with this. Oh, those Group 2 cars look very like Group 3 cars, but are faster. So I did, and I was doing very well, and then somebody noticed, and it was bad. Because you went, oh, we'll all do it. So I decided, stuff this. I went in a Group 1 car. Went, oh, that's a good idea. And, we were in group and I was actually quite good in the Group 1 car. Yeah. Your starts are terrible, by the way. Oh, they were awful. Uh, Your starts was... are just frightening. <laughs> I forgot to put traction control. It's because I had it as a grid start. I really should have had it as a rolling start. And, uh, so uh, No grid start. Not in a Group 1. Look, your Lando Norris, arm Oscar Piastri. Boom, I'm gone. That has just made me think. Perfect. We're going to do Super Formula. Super Formula. That would have been quite good at Goodwood. One. Do you know what? You don't win one, right? You win one when you get when you do the license test, you know? Do you not win one? You can buy one. Depends how far you get expensive. with the license test. But um, I just see. spent a million, nearly two million last week. <laughs> because I needed to get what was it that I buy that was a million and a half? Oh, the LFA, uh, the uh, the V10 one, the Lexus. Oh V10 yeah, that was one. quite good. Yeah, yeah, that, million that and a half. But I've been after oh, it for a while. Was that? I thought the LFA was cheaper than that. That must be quite a bit. Uh, the LFA might be the v, the V8. There was a V10 one. Is it the one? RCF? Oh, there's a V8 yeah. one and there's a V10 one, and one's the LFA, and one might be called the RCF. Ah, uh, is that a group? Uh, if that's a group three, it might be quite expensive. No, no, no. These uh, are road, both road, road cars. cars. These right. are both road well, cars. Oh well. I can't remember. Uh, it's uh, it's over there. I don't actually care. Well, there's similarly another update uh, with another three. Cars white, coming. and I've put a cat on it. Yeah, there's another three. There's another three cars coming in the next update, um, which I think is coming quite soon. And we've mm. also got uh, an uh, the new AC Evolution is coming out similarly today. Actually, it's supposed to be a trailer for that. Um, so that must be getting launched quite soon. Yeah, the new Assetto Corsa Evolution. It's, it's, oh, it's I the thought you were talking, yeah. talking about cars, and you said oh, AC. That's as in the AC Cobra. Uh, no, but uh, I also had two great races on Jeff's Sim Cafe lobbies last night. Yeah, you said you enjoyed that. Yeah, I, and I didn't. I didn't crash on the first one. I did spin off on the second one, but that was all on my own at Donington. Um, but it, but I got it back, and we actually had a really good race. Um, and I ended up being about 15th out of about 20. You spinned? Odd. You spinned it? I span out. I span on, on out at the course, sir. But, uh, never. <laughs> but to I've be fair, I was quite consistent before. overall. And in the first one when we were in Group 3, I was actually, we ought to drive the Nissan. The, 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 they call it Godzilla, the GT3, the, the big GTR. Um, but it, and it was all right. I actually qualified about 17th out of 30 odd. And, uh, and I ended up being, I think it was 11th or 12th. Which is actually not bad considering I hadn't had any practice. And some of these guys are, are pretty quick. And I, my times came down a bit as I got into You are the, quick. You just get excited. That's the, I mean, you know, I, obviously I, I do it as a bit of a joke, but you <laughs> are quick. You just get excited. Yeah. And when I'm in your ear nagging you like an old woman, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you got to calm yourself down. <laughs> you know, you're like, you're like a stag on heat. You need, you need a, a gilly. <laughs> oh, I'm your gilly. I'm about to shoot you in the heed, you know, uh, to calm you down a bit. And that, that seems to work. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, you did really well. In fact, I was, I'm still a bit peed off. And it was two years ago now, I think. At least. A yeah. bit peed off that time when you got up to third and got punted off in the rain yeah. by that idiot. Was that the Nürburgring? It was the Nürburgring GP, wasn't it? I think it was, was it? It was the Nürburgring. Yeah, because yeah. we were in a really good yes. tight battle. And I was, I think, a little bit quicker than the guy in front. And eventually he just carved me off and that was it. You started something like 15th and you got up to third. Yeah, yeah. He, no, the, the guy had crashed off. Yeah. And then he just, it, it wasn't actually, he was, obviously it was catching you up a bit. But what he did is he just punted you out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I remember, and he's like, what the hell? And then you were in the gravel well. going, um... <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. It is annoying. I thought this lobby's meant to have... Clean racing, because <laughs> the, the French lady says poopy, and they all go, oh, well, look that. <laughs> well, on that note, um, it's been it's been good fun actually, and we want to try and do this now regularly, um, because we see that our podcast is is appealing to lots of Americans and UK people from Britain, um, from China, from Australia, uh, from New Zealand, from South Africa, from all over the just, globe. Yeah, it's amazing, and I, I've, well. just had, I've just had I've just had. 
um, a, a, a strange inspirational idea, which you're not going to agree to, and it's stupid anyway. We could have a Lord of the Rings themed Peter Jackson Lord of the Lord of the Pings crappy film themed one, where we overpronounce every car name. So we don't say Nissan, we say Nissan like that. Uh, we take the Nissan to Mordor like that. More Donington. <laughs> yeah, do Donington. No, 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 no. Uh, or or uh, Bransach <laughs> like that. We could do it like that. We could. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm the only one that will care. You, you were like, you'd be like, why? Uh, uh, but it seems to be a thing. <sighs> Stupid film. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, on that note, then we will we will wrap it all up. But thanks to everybody who's been watching and listening. If I might just put this out on YouTube, I think. Don't forget, is... uh -huh. don't forget, we were we were going to wrap up the Ricardo thing and mention the fact that Red Bull, that 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 Ricardo being kicked out right near the end of the season. Why not at least yeah. let him finish? Yeah. It's not like he's in the main team because yeah. they kept Perez. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're going to lose. They are literally going to lose the constructors' championship because Perez has been rubbish. Yeah. But beating guy who's been he's been okay. They're getting rid of uh, before the end of the year. But they've got a habit of doing this. If, w they're rubbish at the way they treat their drivers. Yeah, yeah. They have yeah. one guy that's like, oh, Vettel, oh, Verstappen, and then uh, and though Verstappen's more worth keeping than Vettel ever was, because um, he's genuinely brilliant. Whereas Vettel's just I don't know what Vettel is. Annoying. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they've got, they're just, and they've got these power plays that get, are going on between uh, Herr yeah. Doctor Helmut Merkel. <laughs> you will do as you are told, <laughs> or you shall be sicked <laughs> and shot. <laughs> and Christian Horner, whose main skill seems to be going bold and talking BS. And smack yeah, about people. I try not to. Dan, could his marriage on one go um, with Jerry Halliwell or one? Oh, uh, just, uh, I mean, can you imagine the earplugs he has to? Can you imagine if she's in the shower? <laughs> it's raining. Door. Wow, it's it's <laughs> raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. <laughs> hey, man. No backing singers in there, love, to hide You're the fact that you can't Jerry sing sound a quite good note. <laughs> I know. I just remember the top of the pops. I said all these backing singers. Obviously, on a recording, and even the fact that she, it was recorded, you couldn't hide the fact that there was this out of tune drone going <laughs> on in the background. And you're like, Yep, it's life, Jim. Might not be the best song in the world, but the people that were singing the original were really good singers. Yes, the Weather Girls. <laughs> and she's, it's like, <laughs> do you remember 2D TV? Oh, yeah. Two, uh, uh, it's kind of like a sort of spitting image esque cartoony thing. And they had, <laughs> they had the Beckhams, and they would have. It's really funny. So uh, there's one where she started singing "Happy Birthday" to to whatever the kid's name is, and he tied a neck in a knot. Stop it, happening. All right. <laughs> or there's one where it goes right. He's going. Oh, you hear sort of soaring and banging and drilling and. Stuff like that, and he goes, "Yeah, that's that sorted. We're safe now." And then it pans back, and it says, <laughs> "Posh's studio," and it's all been boarded up with lots of blocks on it. Out. Yeah, that's it. Can I get in? Or can no, no. Out? So she can't get in and start recording stuff. That I, saved I, the I, world. He I said, saw the, saw the "David, David, that saved the world, didn't it?" <laughs> on that note, I will wrap up the show. But it's been great to have you on. There you go. And it's fantastic for everyone, hopefully, who's enjoying the show, listening and giving us a comment. Um, I will maybe see you in our lobby night tonight. Now, we might be able to do another one as well, by the way, on Monday, uh, because I'm actually now going to be here on Monday, um, uh, where I wasn't before. So we'll see how we go. Uh, but thank you very much, Rue. Um, is there anything you My would pleasure. like to say to the hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of listeners there? Drive fast, but try not to drive your Volvo too fast, because you'll go through a wall. Find us now, everyone. Take care.